Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I'm sitting in a 2006 Ford F-150 powered by a 5.4 liter V8 engine and I will talk a bit uh, about P0607 check engine light code. Okay now this truck had the P0607 code showing up. I would reset it retest it drive it again it will come back on after a day or two the truck would shut off while driving it would shudder it wouldn't accelerate right um, it was all pointing towards the throttle body because a couple of other codes showed up which were all related to the throttle body now I, I I had to replace the throttle body. I cleaned it. I double checked all the wires, and I still had the same problem. So I talked to a couple of uh, four technicians, what to do, what would be the cause, and I got my hands to a Ford TSB, uh, which act actually says if you have a P0607 code and only one code showing that code that means that the PCM is the problem so this is the PCM power control module Ford pretty much recommends if only that one code is present that's definitely the PCM problem and they advise to take the vehicle to the Ford dealership to have the PCM reprogrammed I did that it didn't help so I had no other choice but to replace the PCM. Now, of course, I didn't go with the expensive uh, Ford quote. You can do it, uh, you can buy it pretty much online on eBay, pre-programmed uh, with two new keys, which you just have to cut. And it all together cost me three, 350 bucks and 12 bucks to cut the keys. So I was able to fix it for $350 now. You have to do that if you have only that code. If you have more codes showing up, also what my Ford technician told me, all the codes will most likely be related to a throttle body. Um, it could be the throttle body issue, so in case of the more codes, first address the throttle body, clean it or replace it, test drive it, see how it is, clear the check engine light. If the problem persists, you will have to most likely replace the PCM. Now don't get scared, I even made a video how to replace that PCM on this truck. It literally takes like 10 minutes to do it. You don't even have to take it to a mechanic. You don't have to go through a mechanical shop. It's easy to do it yourself. Like I said, uh, there's a couple of really good reliable shops through eBay. All they need is uh, your VIN information, vehicle information, VIN number, and they will send you the new PCM pre-programmed, -prog pre ready to be used. So it's just plug and play, couple of bolts, remove it, plug in the new one, uh, have the keys cut by a local locksmith, and you are good to go. And one more thing to mention, if you are replacing the PCM, most important thing, pay attention to the fourth part number, fourth PN. It has to be exactly the same, especially these three last digits, BPA. So this is what you have to pay attention to and that, that's pretty much it. Get the new one, replace it and your truck will be good to go. It's not worth wasting more time diagnosis mechanical shops because in the end Trust me, I tried everything. I have my own shop, I have my own guys. I had to replace the PCM. Okay, thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was at least a bit helpful. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel, there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews, and other similar automotive topics.